Hey, I'm wondering, have you ever got up in front of a group to do a presentation and it hasn't come out the way that you thought it was in your head? I want to have a conversation with you about how you can create what I call verbal fluency. Hi, Colin Boyd here from colinboyd.com.au and what I want to speak with you right now about is how you articulate your language and your words when you're communicating in public. How you actually get what I call verbal fluency. Because I don't know about you, have you ever got up in a presentation and it hasn't come out the way that you had it in your head? In other words, you wrote it all down, you thought it was clear and you get up and you speak and it just doesn't come out convincing, it doesn't come out the way that you wanted it to be, right? It's what I call content muddle. So content muddle happens when you, you haven't actually been able to articulate it the way that you want to you wanna say it. But I want to teach you verbal fluency. And verbal fluency is the ability to be able to communicate effectively your ideas the way that you want them to be heard. So one of the keys to communicating effectively and with a level of fluency is making sure that you actually link your brain to your mouth. It's kind of like electricity with turning on a light bulb, right? If you've got your electricity source but the wiring isn't correct, when you turn your switch on, the light's not going to come on. So I guess your electricity source is your brain and the light is your mouth. So we're going to make sure it's connected. And we create that through actually speaking out loud. So the first tip, the first idea around how to create verbal fluency is to speak your presentation out loud. So whenever you do your first presentation, it should never be your first presentation. What I mean by that is you should have practiced it at least three times, which is the second tip. I think you need to practice it at least three times. So say it out loud, right? Don't just have it in your head and say it three times. So those two tips, I think, really help significantly in creating verbal fluency. And the third tip in creating verbal fluency is making sure you have cues. So in other words, not having every single thing that you're gonna say, because so often if you've got everything down that you wanna say word for word, in your head you're thinking you're saying the wrong thing. But people don't wanna hear a robot speak, they wanna hear a human speak. So I think there's actually a little hack in this in that realizing that it's even not even about saying it exactly perfect, but it's making sure you get your message across. So just have some cues, have some key things that you wanna say that might be one or two words that will remind you of what you wanna say and it will enable you to speak more fluently, more confidently with a sense of conviction. So please like this, tweet it, and I've got a question for you. What's been most valuable from this video today? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Speak to you soon. Hi and welcome to today's... <laughs> it's good. Can't even start right. Hang on one sec. We've got a fisherman coming. <laughs> False start. So imagine the electricity source... Electricity source? It's a good call. Wait a minute. Should I start that again? <laughs> I probably should. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Oh, thanks. From the top half up only, really. That's where it's getting the shot. 